pretty much. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing very well. I am doing the match day vlog today. Lewis is out of action. So um, let's start off with the lineup. So obviously Mendy staying in goal. No Kepa today. I have to admit, it's a little bit of a questionable decision because I do think Kepa deserves to start. But at the same time, you breed confidence into your players. Hopefully they can give some of that back with their performances. So we'll see. Fafana making his debut today alongside Thiago Silva and Koulibaly. It'd be great to see him in action. James and Kukuela as the wing backs. And then we've got Loftus Cheek, Gallagher, and Kovacic in the midfield. No Mason Mount in there today. So I presume Gallagher's going to have sort of more of a number eight uh, or number 10 role. It'd be really nice to see what he can do in that position because when he's brought too, too deep, you know, he's not given the chances to do what he was doing at Crystal Palace. And then we've got Sterling and Pulisic up front. Pulisic has been looking for game time. Today, you've got it, so we need to see a performance. Thank you. 
them back down. Saying, uh, stay down, waste a bit more time. That looked, that looked like it was going in, but somehow, somehow it's not gone in. Sure lives it. Don't even think we finished the first shot after we scored. West Ham will come back with another pathetic. It's pathetic. But to be honest with you, I was too busy sort of chanting to really see what happened to Mendy. He's on the ground. Um, so be here, I'm going to have a look at this. But pathetic way to hold on to a lead. It's been so much effort into winning the match. Yeah, it's 2-2 now. Let's see what VAR say, but being honest with you, I think it'll probably be given. Alright. Be a bag, yeah? Come on, ref! You haven't done us any favours this season. Come on! Surely, if they've asked to look at it. Surely. Amazing win. I mean, I've been through some roller coasters in my time. This was unbelievable. The, the commitment from the players, especially in that second half, the decisions by Tuchel, which everyone's been questioning, right? This is the right manager for the job. Give him a contract extension. I don't care how long it is, three years, four years, five years. 
Tuchel is our man, not just for now, but for the long term. If this doesn't prove it today with the, with the decisions that he made, with the players that came on, Chilwell and Havertz both coming off the bench and scoring, I don't know what does, okay? We need to keep this momentum in the fan base. There's a great togetherness that I felt today. Really great togetherness. You know, and, and Fafana making his debut. Really, really great to see him. Obviously not, uh, no clean sheet for him today. Mendy, you know, getting stuck in as well. A few, uh, a few little clashes, silver as well. Um, so, you know, plenty to talk about today. Um, obviously Ruben Loftus-Cheek as well, not having his best game, but a lot, a lot of the, I can hear some people shouting in the stands, you know, sideways and backwards, but, you know, he, he does have one thing that Jorginho doesn't have, and that's that he can dribble, he can go up the pitch. When Jorginho came on, he, he controlled the play, he did well, you know, we needed to slow the game down, I think that's why he was brought, brought on, but we managed to hold on to it in the end, even with that 2-2 goal, um, luckily VAR managed to save us. It's about time we had some luck, because we haven't had very much recently. So, yeah, we move on to Zagreb. Really, really proud of the boys. Uh, let's keep this momentum going.